it's with a heavy heart that I say, Mr. Peanut died. He died saving his friends. Now, and you guys know who this is, it's Bugsy Prime. And finding out the news after I proceeded to, you know, I was kind of in the middle of something very important. Was it, Bugsy? Weren't you, uh, I took around it ain't important what I was doing, what I was doing <laughs> in the confines, in the confines of my secret room. Guys, that's, that's code for his porn cave, you know, you know, you, uh, you know what I'm saying? He, he kind of, you know, chicken, <laughs> choking, chicken choking. I was like, all right, there's no time to be talking about nothing. Nothing. We don't got time to talk about nothing. But when I heard, I just, I froze. Basically, Bugsy and, Bugsy and the rest of the internet, it's just, Sad about Mr. Peanut. I'm just like, okay. He's a sentient nut. That sentient nut saved my life <laughs> during the War of Great Chicken on Sakamaru. During the War of Great Chicken. I ain't never gonna. That man saved me. My coleslaw bomb. He was my best friend. You never tell me about this. Because I don't talk about the warm green chicken on Sakamaru, god damn it. I don't talk about that fucking war. But I will say this. Like a lot of like a lot of the people I know in other multiverses. Me and Mr. Peanut were friends. He always helped me out. You know, he knew I liked peanut butter. So he always knew. He always knew the best the best store to buy the fucking best peanut butter. And I ain't talking about no Jeff. I am not talking about no Jeff peanut butter. I am talking about the good the good premium shit. You ain't guys, you ain't never tasted peanut butter like this. It's so so rich and delicious and I can't even stress to you how it feels. You don't know, guys. Mr. Peanut. If you're up there, buddy. You were a good friend. You were... You were, you were perhaps... The best friend a Chaos Lord could ever deserve. And I miss you, man. And they resurrect you DC style. You got... You, there's one thing, there's one thing I have to ask you, but, um, that's only if you get resurrected, which will probably happen, but still. Still, I'm fucking upset, okay? Coming attractions will start a little bit later. It was gonna start a little earlier, but, uh, I need a minute. Really? But, guys, guys, my brother is sad over a lagoon. I, I just wanna, I just wanna put that out there. My brother is sad over a peanut! I was like, Mario was more than a peanut! He was my best friend. He was my confidant. And he was the only one that taught me how to drive stick. I never knew how to drive stick before that. There for me. Well, it's not like I was there for you. You, you were, yeah, 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 you were. But I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about when I had to get over. You know who's Jeff. I'm talking about when I had to deal with the. When I had to deal coming back from the war of great chicken. It was not. A, it was not a. It's not really a. Healthy break for me to come back, but, you know, Mr. Peanut, you know, he said, Bugsy, 
Well, actually, he called me by my actual name. He, called, he said, hey, Argos. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Peanut. And he's like, so like, dude, I know you've been in the war for a while. That would be, that would, I, that would me and you just hang out for a bit. Chill. You know, you can talk about all the stuff you did. You can talk about some of the stuff you want to do now that the war is over, and, you know, stuff like that. Also, he gave me some of his spicy peanuts. Everything was cool for a while. This is Peanut and I were best, just, we were best friends, you know? Like, every, like, when it was, like, usually I go golfing on Sundays, and you know why I do that? Not because me about not because me and a certain other president go golfing, but that was because of Mr. Peanut. Because golfing on Sundays keeps you calm. It keeps you focused. You get to know where your goal you know what what your true goal is, where you're going. And I would have never known that. If it wasn't for that if it wasn't for Mr. Peanut! I miss that. I miss you. I miss you, old friend. If I knew. If I knew you. If I knew you were in this trouble, man, I would have saved you. I would have freaking stop time. I would have freaking stop time. And you know, I'm God tier. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can, I can save you. I can save you. What's done is done now. You sure? You, is he gonna leave you anything in the will? Um, I don't think so. Yeah, he always he always said I wouldn't. He's like, you know, if I were to die, would would you want anything in my will? I'm like, dude, no. I wouldn't feel right taking some of your stuff after you, you know, after you passed. So I'm probably not gonna get anything in this will. So when's the funeral? I do not know. So you want me to come along? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna just put his monocle cane in the usual spot. I didn't know he had a room around in your house. Yeah. I mean, I mean, a lot of you actually do. I didn't fucking know that. Well, it's like if ever you needed to crash on something, like, well, there's room for you, there's room for her, there's room for her, there's room for pretty much any of my friends and bros. And there's a room for Mr. Peanut. I'm pretty much gonna probably stick some one up arcade cabinets in there. Because I don't have any room. Or may I just keep or may I just keep it as it is and just add another room to the house. I don't know. I feel numb. I feel goddamn numb. This is a peanut. 20, 2020. Why did you take this? Why did you take Mr. Peanut away? He didn't deserve it. He didn't want to go out like this, man. He he would wanted to go, he would want to go out like a, he wanted to go out. At least he went out on his terms. He went out on his terms, saving the people he cared about. Mr. Peanut. Mr. Peanut. I miss you, old friend. Well, probably see you around. The afterlife is a big place. And maybe one day, um, helping out Gramps, you know, filing his paperwork, I might see you. Hopefully, if you are up there, 
if you're there. We can we can talk about all this stuff. All the stuff I can talk to you about before. I miss you, Mr. Peanut. You were. You were my you were the main you were my main nut, my friend. I don't mean that in a, I don't mean that in a fucking I don't mean that as me I don't mean that as Jess. I wasn't talking about Jess. You're my main nut, my friend. I miss you. I miss all the times we played Monopoly. I'm gonna miss all the times we played Monopoly. And how most of the time you freaking get the railroad. You know, you know the railroads. And I told you the railroads like the easiest spot to win Monopoly. And then we played Payday. Shit's left. We played a lot of we played a lot of board games. A lot of board games. It was pretty much a thing. But you always hated Mousetrap. <laughs> Because I was like, I was like the, I was like the wizard when it came to Mousetrap. He really is, fucks. He ain't lying about that. He could kick anybody's ass in Mousetrap. I, I am not even kidding. He could do it. So everybody, a moment of silence for Mr. Peanut. A moment of silence. Everybody, I'll see you later. Goodbye, old friend. Goodbye. I'll miss you, old buddy. I'll miss you. Guys, can I just talk about how ridiculous this all is? I just, I, I want to, I just want to say how ridiculous my brother's being right now. Because then Mr. Peanut did a whole bunch of shit together and he never told me about this. It was kind of weird. It came out of left field. So uh, I'm just gonna, gonna let my brother grieve and uh, I'm we're we're just gonna end the video now. Okay. See you guys later. And for all the people mourning about mourning Mr. Peanut, can we all just now? I'm gonna let you guys mourn. Whatever. It's weird. Mr. Peanut. Nut it up, man. Nut it up!